Hello, this video is all about exact match keywords and why exact match keywords aren't exact match keywords anymore. Hello and thank you for joining in. Uh, this video is all about exact match keywords. Um, so let's uh, tell you a definition of what exact match keywords are and uh, from the word exact match it means that exactly matching uh, keywords so exact match helps you control how close your keyword needs to be to someone's search term in order for your ad to appear so exact match lets a keyword trigger your ad to show only when someone searches for the exact keyword or close variations of the exact keyword that you add it to your account so Google will trigger your ad for close variations of the exact match keyword including misspellings singular and plural forms um, acronyms stemmings such as floor and flooring abbreviations and accents so to set up your exact match keyword what you want to do is to Put a square brackets around your keyword or key phrase um, just like I'm showing you on the uh, screen there is no space uh, between uh, the uh, keyword and the brackets so please don't put any space like this so just the way it is uh, shown on the screen so let's take for example a exact match keyword wedding photographer london so if somebody search for wedding photographer london then your ads may uh, potentially trigger but if somebody search for find wedding photographer in london then your ad won't trigger but recently or in fact last year uh, google had a major update with regards to uh, how exact match keywords uh, will potentially work so exact match is no more an exact match uh, because Google believes this new change will increase the click-through rates and the clicks uh, on your ads and it expands the exact match to close variant including additional rewording and reordering for exact match keywords so this is quite a significant change to how exact match keywords work and further to that it google will also ignore function keywords like n to for but a and the which they believe don't have much or any impact on the intent behind the search term and I personally believe the reason why uh, these function words are being ignored is the increase in the voice searches being made. So instead of typing in on your keyboard or smartphone, we now talk into our smartphones and uh, Google something. And when we say something, we tend to use all these function key uh, function words. So let's have a look as to how exact match keywords can potentially trigger your ads so let's take an example for running shoes woman so that's your keyword which you are bidding for somebody searches running shoes for women and as the function keywords or function words were added uh, your ad will or can potentially trigger jobs in united kingdom somebody may search for your jobs in the united kingdom your uh, the function words have been added and your ad scan trigger wedding photographer london someone searched wedding photographer in london the ad will trigger wedding photographer london again and let's say somebody has reworded london wedding photographer now traditionally this would have been triggered by the broad modified keyword but now an exact match keyword will also trigger your ad because this is a reworded word 
So it's quite a significant um, change to how exact match keywords uh, will trigger your uh, ads. Now, exact match keywords are the most expensive because I would bid the most highest as they are the most relevant and the highest uh, converting keywords for any campaigns. So if you are using uh, phrase, exact, or broad match keywords, then I would bid the most on the exact match um, keywords. So with this um, change to the exact match keywords, um, this expansion of close variance, you don't need to have a long list uh, of keywords with all these words in it or reworded keywords as well because Google will take into account all the function keywords as well as the reordered uh, words uh, in the search query and trigger your exact match keyword. So that's it for this uh, video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, share or like and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.